What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add background music in Vegas Pro 15. So you can see I have some music here but of course the main question is where do you get music from? Now I highly recommend you just get them from YouTube. Of course make sure it's non-copyrighted. I have made a video before um, on the top 5 YouTubers that I personally get music from that offer non-copyrighted music. A link to that video will be in the description. So on screen I have the video I made yesterday which is how to create a fast flicker or strobe lighting effect in Premiere Pro. So here's the music, I'm going to drag and drop this underneath onto a separate track and just like that you're done. So guys thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed Okay obviously that was a joke. Anyway so the music starts here so I'm going to first of all trim it down. Now this is where we control the volume. So firstly, we're not going to be using the volume over here and we're not going to be using the volume here. We're going to do something which is a bit more advanced, you could say, but it's super simple. Press V on your keyboard and you bring up this line. Now this line is controlling the volume. Now with this line, we can also lay down keyframes to help us where to lower the volume and where to put the volume louder. Now, for example, you can see I've already split this part here. The reason for that is because I'm simply just going to speed it up and I'm going to imagine this part right here is a part where I'm showing you how to do something and there's no need for me to talk but I still want to show you it. So we won't need me talking in it. So first of all I will just mute this audio here and I'm going to bring this back. Now just for the purpose of this tutorial I'm going to come further up here into the music so it's already dropped and you can hear that it is quite loud. So I'm going to play this through for you. What's going on guys? Casual Savage here and in this video... So, there's a problem straight away. You cannot hear a word I'm saying. And what I recommend you do to get the best audio, make use of these output meters. So we have the output meter for the music and we have the output meter for my voice. I'm gonna play it through. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to. So you can see the music is hitting nine and six, whereas my voice is just hitting nine. So first of all, I'm going to lower this all the way down to minus 13. Now I'm going to play it through, see if this is good enough. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to... Now that's better for me, but I do want to go down just a little bit more just to be on the safe side. So you can also right click your keyframe, select set to, and then you can enter manually. So I'm going to go to minus 15 and select enter. And I'm also going to add a fade to this audio. So I'm going to play it through now. What's going on guys? Casual Savage here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a fast flicker effect in Premiere. So much more better. Hear my voice a lot clearer. But you can also hear the background music, which is nice. So it's better not to have background music completely silent where it's hard to hear, but it's still playing. It's good to be able to hear the background music, but also the voice has to be more dominant. So the next part. Uh, I've created this fake time lapse of course and um, of course we want the music to be loud because if we play a time lapse and the music's like this it's pretty boring so what we're going to do is double click here just before the drop up here we're gonna double click here where the music or where the voice is no longer talking and we're gonna right click this keyframe and we're gonna select set to zero now we also have quite a sharp um, fade to that music here. So I also recommend you right click this line and then change it to either a slow fade or a fast fade. Them ones I think work the best, of course you can experiment. So I'm going to choose a slow fade because of course I'm still talking at this point but the music's also going to be increasing. So now if I play this through, I've had a sore throat and I lost my voice. You can see like that the music increased onto the point where we stop talking. So how do we make the music decrease? We do everything we just done in the opposite way. So first of all I start talking here. So right back here I'm going to lay down a keyframe by double clicking on the blue line. I'm then going to double click just past where I'm talking up here and this time I'm going to right click this one select set to and select minus 15. Select enter I will change this to a slow fade and now if I play it through I will be trimming this down I will be trimming this 
down quite a lot. So you can see just like that, super, super simple. And you would do this throughout your video, wherever you're not talking, wherever you want it to be louder, wherever you want it to be quieter. Really simple to do. Just double click, lay down a keyframe, drag it up or down. And once again, you can right click, you can select set two, and you can simply input what you want it. So maybe minus five, just like that, it is done. Now, something very, very important. If you do have a clip like this, where you're going to be talking, but then there's going to be no talking and you want the music to be louder, you have to put two keyframes, meaning one with the original volume and one where the audio goes up. Now, the reason for this, if I delete this keyframe here, which is the first one before we go louder, this is now what we have. So what it's doing is right from the start of the video, the audio is going to progress to get louder and louder and louder until it reaches zero dB at this specific point. With this point, the audio is going to stay at minus 15 dB all the way up to here. And then it's going to progress to minus zero dB in the space of two seconds. And I lost my voice like that. And you create a nice smooth fade with the audio.